wake up tomorrow and say um yeah so my card got declined i'll be like eh so call your bank manager you are big enough call your bank manager or call your father or call somebody call your friends why are you calling me i have never been on tinder i don't think i'll ever use tinder because the tinder swindler has showed me things my eyes have opened i'm just like whoa wow the fact that he got to defraud them to the max is still shocking me. And the fact that he's still outside, like he's still moving around, is still like a big shock to me. Like what the hell? I did them to the point that even me, I was just like, ha. Ah. You can find a bit of everything on Tinder. When I first talked with Simon, immediately we had a bond and he asked me if I wanted to travel with him. I'm on a private jet. I was like, shit. He said there was something he wants to tell me. Twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand, one hundred forty thousand dollars. His life depended on me. That's when police tell me the man I love was never real. I have not been on Tinder, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing this face, hi guys, my name is Zulaiha. More please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Join the family. Leave a comment because I read and I reply to all your comments. So guys, this is the first time ever that I'm doing like a sit down video like this. I've never actually like done a sit down video like this. But if you are on the internet, you or you are on Netflix, you have seen the Tinder Swindler. Tinder Swindler, yeah. The Tinder Swindler. That movie is wild. Like, the, the, sorry, the documentary is wild. And I just had to come and sit down and talk to you guys about it because, like, I have never been so moved to actually have to, like, talk about, like, something that I watched this badly because I watched the, the like, I watched the Tinder swing down. I was like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, if you haven't watched it, oh, it's on Netflix, it's Tinder swing down. It's basically about a guy, Simon, who... On Twitter, on, sorry, I keep saying Twitter, <laughs> on Tinder comes a lot of women out of their money, like a lot of money, like a lot, a lot of money, like, oh my God. So without further ado, I just want to make like a short video because like I watched it and I really felt something now. I was just like, I really need to talk to you guys about it. So yeah. <laughs> so guys, Simon, if you watch Simon, 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 I don't know. On the Tinder Swindler, he basically scams women. So when I started watching it, I was just like, yo, this lady is, I think, I don't know, I'm definitely they are not they are the victims in this situation, but I was like, once something is too good to be true, I don't think like first off, because I'm not trying like to bash the people that like the ladies that were in that were in the like that what happened to them. But I don't think if me meeting you the first date first time you say let's get onto a private jet let's go to where did he even take them to the first people and yeah, let's bump into a private jet let's go i'm gonna be like what what if they kidnapped me maybe it's just my 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 thinking or something but like meeting you for the first time i'm not just gonna follow you and carry my bag and be like let's go like why like seriously why because i'm just like what if they maybe i'm coming from a place of fear maybe because of where i'm coming from i'm nigerian if you don't know i'm nigerian so like Lots of things be working on our heads. I'm just like, what? So, I cannot follow somebody on a private jet for the first time meeting you. You had coffee. I think the first lady, you had coffee and stuff. Then she now followed him and flew with him to somewhere. I was like, eh? When is not Fifty Shades of Grey? Even Fifty Shades of Grey said, ah, what? That was a movie. That, like, that's not real life. I don't know if it happens for people. If it happens for you, please comment down below. Let me know. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one that is not going to the right place where it happens for people. But... It doesn't happen for people like that. You don't just meet a random person because you met on Tinder and the next thing you travel. I guess, I think what was their problem was that they were like romantic, especially the first lady. Um, I keep forgetting her name. I think she was uh, she's like a romantic person. I, like when I watched it, because I had to watch it and take my time to like really, really understand. Because I was just like, how, how could somebody maneuver you this much? Like, actually like bend you to his will to his want he bent them to his to like he basically just used their head like their brains because when he came i was like oh my enemies did this my enemies i was like eh so like yeah and if you're a guy if somebody that claims to be a billionaire's son stuff i'm sorry 
if he lacks money or his bank is um his card is denied i think he should i think the signs they didn't want to see the signs i just met you one month day i cannot i can't please you can let me mention please click down below both guys and ladies your boyfriend or slash girlfriend me i know i cannot send that out of money to somebody i do I, even if i i'm not yet at that position but even if i have that money i cannot send it to you especially when we just met like why like what and I just feel like maybe because I'm coming from a place where I've like I'm Nigerian, so I've heard about like scams a lot, and like you don't scam Nigerian people that easily. We say we are not that don't scam me. <laughs> Nobody's gonna wake up tomorrow and say, um, yeah, so my card got declined. I'm like, eh, so call your bank manager. You are big enough. Call your bank manager or call your father or call somebody. Call your friends. Why are you calling me? I just met you. Like, you know, day what's happening? Closely. Like, why? Hey, my child, what's that? So, I just guess, I just want to come and talk to you guys a little about it. But I just guess, like, they were so in love to the point that he he was able to maneuver them. He basically just gave them that lifestyle, which, guys, that lifestyle, lifestyle is sweet for some people. It doesn't happen to everybody. I guess that's why they felt like maybe they were like one in a million that it happened to. But that doesn't happen. And I'm so pained that up till now the guy is still moving like he is still free he is still posting on because i when i was watching it i was just like oh my god like at the beginning i was like oh my god because he was basically giving the perfect 50 shades of gray role like lavish lifestyle the money and everything that like, you're saying i'm flying i have work i have business i was just like oh this guy is so but at the point it has to be like I, like well, i will not like to get when i started watching it i thought like maybe there was another guy after simon I thought there was another guy after Simon. Like maybe they're trying to be like, okay, this is what happened. This is not what happened. I really thought that at the beginning because I was like, oh my god, because I'm like a rom romantic person. I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. He took you on the first date, but at the same time, I was like, eh, first date, you just enter gate just like that. What did they kidnap? What did they go and do and do money ritual? What did they just take you and go? <laughs> but oh well. That said, I'm just really angry that he's still moving about after all he did and this living fixed lifestyle and people are still like still following him and still being his, in his life like trying to like live fake lifestyle and he, all the girlfriends that he's still having just like are you people crazy like something wrong with you but i'm really happy that they actually made this documentary on netflix and i hope one day they catch him this stupid guy the fact that he's still out there like how is this guy still out there how is this still moving how is he still being online and people are still following him. Like, what's wrong with human beings? Like, what's wrong with us? What's wrong with you people? Like, oh my goodness. All of a sudden, I noticed when I went to, when I said to him, people actually started following him again. His, his followers grew on Instagram. I was just like, ah, ah, ah. hey. I was, I'm just like, wow. Wow. Wow, wow. So, yeah. You tell me rumbling too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it is not a kind of video that I ever do. So, bye!